Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I got a little review. I recently took a vacation and took my uh, Google Nexus 7 tablet with me. Um, I was frantically getting stuff together on it, something to watch on the airplane ride out to Phoenix. It's about four, four and a half hour flight. And uh, I had limited space. I had to remove a whole bunch of apps and other material to make space for just one hour movie and one uh, TV show that I could fit on there, download it onto that 16 gigabyte tablet. So when I got back from my vacation, I looked on Amazon looking for another solution. And one thing I did see in the past was a uh, Amazon tablet that uh, was a little bit bigger. It's eight inch, it's HD quality, and it had Alexa built into it. And with all of my things around the house, I thought, man, if I can use this tablet around the house as well, I can operate uh, anything, all my lights, TVs, anything I have operating with my smart home, smart switches and stuff like that, I would have access to it with this neat little tablet right here. Amazon Fire HD 8 tablet. I got this nice little uh, cover for it as well. It's got the hole for the camera on the back. It's magnetic, so you get a tight seal when you close it. And it's also got this little notched uh, fold here. So you can actually prop it up uh, on a table if you're watching something and prop it like that. If you're looking at recipes, set this on your kitchen counter and have access to it. Let's see, uh, this is the tablet. Nice wide screen. We're going to take a look at this thing, see what we can do because the tablet, Android tablet, is not worth a damn without Google Play Store. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to get Google Play Store real easy loaded onto this Android Amazon tablet. Turn on the lake room. Okay. How's the traffic to my work? At the moment. Traffic on your commute looks pretty clear. The fastest route takes about 18 minutes via SR Tollway 589 and Linabaugh Avenue. All right, guys, I've got the uh, Fire 8 HD tablet, and uh, it's a very nice tablet. Uh, you've got several pages in here that it comes loaded with. Here's your home page. Here's your Silk browser. That's what we're going to be using in just a moment. Uh, that's to surf the internet. And uh, we've got a section for books. You can download books from Amazon, uh, video. If you're a Prime member, you get to watch all these Prime uh, video TV shows and movies. They're all available for you. Games, here's where all your games are stored that you download. You can shop Amazon. Uh, you can get apps and download apps, but I sure as hell don't want an Android operating tablet and not have the Play Store. So that's what I want to get on here. Uh, as well as you've got music you can download from Amazon, Audible Books, and Newsstand. So we're going to go back to our home and open the Silk browser. And this is how we're going to install uh, Google Play Store on this Android tablet by uh, Amazon. This is the Fire 8 HD tablet. And you're going to want to go to the description down below this video. And I've got four links. And open them up in different tabs. I've got four tabs here already with the links loaded and you're going to want to download them in order. The first one is Google Services Framework and uh, the page is going to start out like this. Just scroll up and you'll see download Google Services Framework dot APK. Go ahead and hit that button. Start the download. Open it up. It says installation blocked. That's okay. Go to your settings. And from here, uh, within your security and privacy, you want to go to apps from unknown sources and move that little slot over there to allow it and click OK. Now we're good. We're going to go back, <clears throat> download that again, open it. This time it's going to allow you to go next and install. So we're installing that first download app installed. We'll do done. We'll go to our next tab over, which we've already preloaded from the description below this video, and it's Google Play Services. 
So download this one. It says it's downloading. You can also tell it's downloading by that arrow pointing down that movement at the top of your screen. Now it's checked, it's done, so we're gonna open it. Go next, 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 next. Just scroll up and do install. So remember, there's only four downloads you have to make to get your Google Play Store on your Android tablet here. Some of these may take a little longer than others to download. Just wait because you want to do these in order. And it does say it is installing now. App installed. We're going to go to our third tab. Download. Open. Next, and just scroll up until we see install and click that button install. This is the Google account manager, it's done. So we'll go back, hit our fourth tab, our final tab. Scroll up till you see the download, download playstore.apk. Go ahead and click that. Open it, scroll up and press your install button. I apologize for the glare there. Google Play Store installed. We're just going to do done. We're going to close our tabs out. And we're going to reboot our tablet now. I'm going to hold the power button and press OK to power off. All right, guys, we're turning it back on. Hit the power button. We've com completely shut it off and we're firing it back up. Our Fire HD 8 inch tablet from Amazon. Hopefully we have our Google Play Store on here now and we have a lot more apps available to us on this nice affordable tablet with uh, Alexa built into it. Okay, we're powered back up here. Get that to rotate. Here's our home screen. Now I'm looking for the Google Play Store icon. We've got the Facebook that we could download. This is only within the, uh, the App Store, the Amazon App Store that it's searching. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's right in my drawer here. So if you're wondering where that Play Store is, it's in the drawer. I'm going to pull that up if I can. Put that like right there. So now I have easy access to it. I can hit there. I'm in my Google Play Store. I can search for uh, anything I want. Let's go to home. And then here's where you have access to download any of the uh, Google Play Store apps, games, movies, books, music, what have you. You got it all now, guys. I hope you enjoy this tablet. Uh, I know I'm gonna enjoy it on my next uh, trip. If I take it on an airline or something. Last uh, tablet I had uh, was a Nex uh, Nexus tablet. It was a seven inch, this is an eight inch, much bigger screen space. It only had like 16 gigabytes in it, but this one's got 32, plus I put, uh, I believe a 64 gigabyte SD card into it to add more space and we'll just take a look at this a little closer remove this you've got two speakers on the top edge so you've got stereo sound on your tablet on the side edge you've got your volume up and down you've got a, a headphone jack You've got a micro USB connector where you charge it. You've got your power on off button here. On the bottom, this is where your drawer is. Pop this lid open and you can install an SD card for more memory, more than the 32 gigabytes that this came with. I'll leave the link 
below for this Amazon tablet. I'll leave it in the description below. But remember, follow my easy instructions on getting the Google Play Store. That makes this tablet so much more worth it. So guys, what do you think about this tablet? You think you might try it out and get one for yourself? They're pretty affordable for a tablet nowadays and everything that you have on this. If you're an Amazon Prime member, I highly suggest this tablet. Get the one without the ads running because if you get the ones, uh, you get it for cheaper and it runs ads on your home screen and stuff like that. But it's annoying and it's, it's, you can't make it personalized like you can on a regular Android tablet. So go ahead and spend the extra, I don't know what it is, 15 or $20 and get you a blank tablet like this. Install Google Play Store on it and uh, we can operate Alexa hands-free. See it already turned on. Alexa, turn on the lake room. Okay. Alexa, what's the weather going to be like today? All hands-free. In Lutz, it's 84 degrees Fahrenheit with intermittent clouds. Brings up today, the weather. you can look for mostly sunny weather with a high of 85 degrees and a low of 66 degrees. I'll leave the link below for this tablet and the links for all of the uh, links that you need to load up the Google Play Store on here. And just to show you, I do have the Google Play Store loaded. There you go. Guys, I'll see you on the next video. Oh, Playing my favorite song right back on top